Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be talking about the double unary operator or the double dash. And there are two use cases that I'll be showing you in today's video. One is if we want to force Excel to return a one or a zero instead of true or false. And in the second use case, I will be showing you how to force Excel to convert values stored as a text in an array formula to numerical values. So let's jump right in. and. In this example, I will be showing you how to use the double dash to count the number of tasks that are completed. This is an example of a task tracking template where I would like to track which of these activities are completed and across which of the phases. So what we want to do is to create a formula that sums up all of the ones that are checked. So I just wanted to show you an example of how the double dash helps with this kind of scenario. So I'm going to say here equals this cell and we see a false. And if I check the box, it turns into a true. However, we cannot sum up, we can, we cannot perform arithmetic operations with true or false. We need numbers. So if I come into the formula bar here, and I enter the dash twice and hit enter, it changes into a one. And if I check this, it turns into a zero. So that's what it does for us. So how can we apply it here? What we can do here is to sum all of the number, all of the cells here. And what we need to do is to press the double dash and then select this range, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So as we can see, it returns a zero because nothing is checked. So if we check this, check this, check this, it gives us the count of how many tasks have been completed in this tracker. We can send this all the way down and anywhere across the tracker. If we toggle on completed check marks, it's auto sums that. So that's one use case. Another use case would be if we want to compare two lists, and this happens quite a lot if you're involved with like data quality projects where we want to see if the data in one system is the same as the data in another system. So in this case, if I wanted to check if the list and the comparative one has the same values, maybe my approach first would be equals this, equals this, and this will return a true and then send this all the way down. And then we have to use uh, sum if and use true as the, as the logical condition. And then it will count, the sum if will count one, two, three, four, and return a four for three. And if it's for the values that are not the same, I'll use the same sum if function. And this time around, false is gonna be the criteria for the condition. But we can achieve the same by using the double dash approach. And I'm going to show you that in one second. And how we want to do this is to compare this range to this range and return the sum in one single formula. So I'm going to type equal sign and I'm going to select this range equals this range. And I'm going to hit enter. We see here that it returns the same values as I already have here. And what we want to do next is to try to sum this without using the double dash. And if I do this and hit enter, we get a zero. And that's because Excel is only seeing true and false as the outputs of the formulas, not ones and zeros. So how do we do this? We come into the formula and we type the double dash, open parenthesis, and then close it at the end here. And if we hit enter, we have a four. So we see here there are one, two, three, four, and that's what Excel has returned here. So how do we do this? If we wanted to count the, one, the numbers that are not the same, I can simply copy this formula and paste it here. And what I'm going to change is instead of the equal sign, I'm going to use the not equal sign, which is it's not greater or it's not less than both ranges are not greater or less than the other one. 
that's how you use not equals in Excel. And if I hit enter, it returns a two. And as we can see from here, uh, we have two false values in here. So what is another way that we can use the double dashes to help us in Excel? I'm looking at this example that I have here. It's a manual record that's been entered of the number of inventory sold per day because all the products are the same. The company sells a single product. So for each day, they just use commas to separate all of the number of quantities sold. So in this example, we may try to do text split for instance, and what is the delimiter? It is the comma, and that splits the all of the cells into different columns. So we can send this down, and we have all our numbers split up, and then we can decide to do a sum, but watch what happens when I try to sum it. So if I select this, and I'm just gonna use the hash to, hashtag to select every other cell, across it's the same as just selecting all of this let me let me go back again equals sum and if i selected all of this you see excel changes it to a hashtag so if i hit enter you see that it returns a zero and that's the same for every other cell the reason is because we're using text splits formula and what excel has done is to split up this text in this cell but it's stored the output as text. And so when we put the sum formula on text, it doesn't work. Why? Because it's a text and Excel cannot add text together. So definitely we cannot use sum with this approach. So I'm gonna delete all of these formulas, but watch what happens when I do this approach it equals to this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this it's gonna return the actual sum. And if we also select all of this, we notice here at the bottom of the screen that it's only giving it counts. And that's because Excel is storing the outputs as a text and not numbers. But when I use the, when I try to add the numbers one after the other, Excel thinks that those are numbers and not text because I have used the plus sign. So. That's one way we can achieve this, but what if we want to do this in one single cell? That's where the double dashes help. So I'm going to hit delete here. Uh, I'm going to take all this out. And so I'm also going to show you that if I did sum, and I'm referring to the output of the text split here, it's also going to return a zero, as we can see here. But once we come here and put in the double dash, this should change to 45 and that's it. If we send out this, it gives us exactly the same results as when we try to add the numbers individually. So this is one powerful way that you can force any value stored as text and convert them to a number so you can carry out arithmetic operations. If you find this content useful, share with others, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.